Greetings and hallucinations to all you folks out there. So today, we've actually got a new game. This is Interplanetary, and I know quite a few of you know what that game is. If you don't, by all means, join me for a game. We're going to explore this together. I've played one semi-incomplete game so far and watched one little tutorial video. I think I have a reasonably good grasp of it because it's not exactly the most technical game, but it does seem to be a pretty good amount of fun to play. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this right after a quick announcement. Um, if you wish to play... Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion with me in a multiplayer match. You need to get with me on Steam. You can see my Steam username right there on the screen. Please do not flood me with friend requests. Please only reach out if you wish to play Sins of a Solar Empire. I want to put together a game a little bit later this week to play with some of you guys, especially if you have a microphone. I want to be able to talk and interact with you and meet some new people. So if you can do that and you want to join me for a game, hit me up and we will get with it. I'm probably going to drop Sins of the Solar Empire at least temporarily after that next game because it's just too long. It is incredibly time consuming and I don't have the hours and hours and hours it takes to continually play games. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this. We've got an AI player in the slot and me, myself, and I in the number one slot. Let's go ahead and get started and see where this takes us. That is an interesting machine. It looks like a piece of excavating equipment. We have a small solar system because there's only two of us as opposed to eight, I believe, in a maximum size game. Basically, it's like the old Flash games that you used to play with the gravity mechanics on where you would hurl stuff at each other and hope that it hit and try to predict the trajectory. Except this one actually has a tech tree. So you can do all kinds of useful things with that and we do want to maximize our materials at the beginning of the game. I'm gonna go for this. I don't know that it's actually anything useful, but yeah, let's, uh, let, let's roll with it. Uh, I'm gonna do one and two on that oh wow long long tech tree i didn't even realize this thing scrolled holy cow that's incredible okay well we will actually set that up all right so that's done and then we have cities to build we can go to our little planet here we have some gorgeous cities you can see the grids, you can see the lights. It's funny how on an advanced civilization that's capable of hurling railgun projectiles from planet to planet, apparently everyone lives in a forsaken wasteland and only in the small um, habitable areas. So it's kind of weird. We're going to go ahead and build a mine because setting up economy is vital in the early game. You always, 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 always want to maximize your later potential so we're going to throw down our minds and just go ahead and end our turn this turn this game is turn based if you have people that take a lot of time deciding things then yes it can be incredibly time consuming but uh it, it seems to move reasonably well as long as you have your wits about you. Now, I threw down two mines, which apparently do not have a solar plant to power them, which is... Hmm. I am... I think I messed up. I think I messed up big time. I can't... Let, let me... Ah, no! What is this madness? I'm going to throw down a solar plant and another mine. We'll see if this will actually connect in some way. All right, so we're going to continue on with our tech tree, and we'll just continue the game. I don't think... I think the planet makes one full rotation, so your time scale is measured in days. And we're going to see what we can do here. Still two broken power in Cygnus. That's strange. All right, well, we're going to sell these two. <clears throat> And that will get us a lot more mass. Sell and sell. And that means that we'll be able to build ones that are actually useful. Right there. And let's throw down another solar plant over here. And another mine. Right there. Alright, so that is actually something that we can do. 
we will have more mass next turn. I say mass, I think it's actually just a generic materials in this game. But whatever, you can be generic all you want. I'm still going to refer to it in subcom terms. All right, so we're leaving our tech tree alone. Let's go ahead and go back to building. So we have solar plants on the other side. We have plenty of power. We have mass coming in. I'm going to do one more turn building mines. And then we will go ahead and branch out into um, railguns. Then we'll actually have weaponry to attack other people with. And that's what makes games exciting. I seem to be on a red planet. I hope that doesn't mean that I'm some kind of communist, but you never know. It's actually a very detailed game. It kind of reminds me of Sins of the Solar Empire because of this. It pans in 3D around a plane type solar system. It's kind of cool actually. All right, so let's see if we have enough power to run a railgun here. It's connecting to the mine for some reason. Does the mine have extra power? I think it does. Yes. It's saying that it will not have power. Let's do, oh, offshore mine. What? That's interesting. I did not know that those were available. Okay, we're gonna build another solar plant. That does that that does make sense though because then you would be able to make use of the water on water-based planets. We're going to build a railgun right there and that's going to tap us out for this turn. We're going to go ahead and leave our quantum computing upgrade running and skip to the next turn. Try to move this along as quickly as we can. I want to fire off some shots, get down to business and eliminate this other player as quickly as I possibly can. Um, all right, we got two undeveloped city uh, cities on this side. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. We're going to put a solar plant here. That actually taps me out. I need more mines, but we can use something fun. We can now use our rail gun. Yay, squiggly lines. It's like uncontrollable octopus arms. And we are going to try to reach out and touch this innocent little planet over here with our railgun. All right, simulating, boom, simulating your own destruction. There's nothing you can do about it, yellow planet, you slimy yellow bastards. All right, let's go back to our planet here. We need to build up some more. Um, Let's do, we've got a solar plant over here. Let's do, let's do mines. Um, there's a mine. And there's a mine. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll throw down another rail gun next time around. Okay. Oh, I forgot to fire my gun. Ah, oh, well, it's only one little pea shooter. How much difference can a single turn make? So we're orbiting in opposite directions, which means I want to have a bunch of weapons online when I'm coming head to head with this planet over here, which means that I need to build more. All right, we have a basically unused solar plant over here. So I'm going to make a rail gun and I'm gonna make another rail gun. And I can't make a third rail gun, but boy howdy, I wish I could. Let's go ahead and go to our firing sequence. See if we can plant one firmly in the behind of this planet. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Can you hit it? Can you hit it? Yes, you can. I am a strategic genius and a computational wizard. My accuracy is impeccable. Okay, maybe not that good, but you get my drift. Let's see here. We got um, lots of rail guns down here. No more power to run anymore. Let's go ahead and throw down another solar plant. And a rail gun. And we will have more... Oh, I need to fire my weaponry. We will have more 
with which to build next turn. Okay, so I have a lot of weapons now. Let's throw that around the sun. What now? Oh, intersect. I'm going to miss this. I'm actually going to go behind the planet is, is what's going to happen here. All right, so this is going to be... We're going to aim a little forward. I have no idea what's going to happen on this one. Let's see how true my aim is. Here it comes, and wide misses on all counts. That was freaking terrible because the intervening planets moved into the paths of my projectiles and distorted them quite severely. So I need to pay more attention to that next time. Okie dokie. That is the end. Um, all right. No technology in research, which means we need to go back to our tech tree. And we need to start looking... Oh, onboard targeting AI. That's interesting. Let's go down a weapons tree this time. Self-adjusting optics, uranium alloys, orbital assemblies, EM drive... Now, let's do ultra capacitors because I've got lots of rail guns and that will do better things for me than the other upgrade would. Let's do... Ooh. Let's do lasers because lasers sound new and exotic and interesting and deadly. Mostly deadly. High particle power beams, orbital manufacturing, and gravitational lensing. These all sound like intriguing things, and I think we will find out what they do. Let's go ahead and build some buildings because building is good. Um, let's throw down another solar plant and as many mines as we can, which would be two so that we can actually get some more mass next time around and then let's target let's face it this is the best part of this no my guns facing the wrong way oh well let's go around the sun and see what interferes with us bam let's see where our other guns are same problem See if we can launch one actually into the orbit of the sun. Oh, well that's sad. I don't have enough power. Okay, I'll have to build more power next turn. All right, I'm not gonna do anything on this one, but whatever. And that one kinda sorta started in orbit. That's gonna be a comet. He's gonna come back in about 80 years and spook all of the superstitious locals. That's what's going to happen with that one. And we are now facing each other once again, my mortal enemy and I. Uh, let's, uh, let's, let's, let's build some things, build some things and stuffs. Okay, we need more plants because we never have enough power, it seems like. So there's our solar plant. And we have a lot of rail guns over here. Um... Where are all the rail guns? Okay, there's three rail guns there and one over here. So I think we need to definitely build more rail guns on this side. So let's build that one and we are done. Let's take our firing sequences. And we will, ooh, we have a direct impact potential right here, folks. There's one. Not that one and that one and that one oh i can fire them all let's see if we can loop this all the way around the sun for an additional hit if we manage this this is going to be brutal all right full on connection nope it's in the sun oh well such is life what is this Enemy buildings damaged. Enemy cities damaged. Nice. Okay. Let's see what we can build with our building things. Let's build a telescope array. Because that seems like it would provide a lot of intelligence, which would be good. So there's our telescope array. 
Let's go ahead and go back to our solar plant on this side where we are going to build a couple more rail guns. Basically, we're going to have so many guns that our planet is going to shift in its orbit when all these things fire. Now see, oh crap. No! He hit me. How dare he? He has weapons online. Oh well. Well, that's 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 frustrating. Man. Tuho is damaged. Can I repair him? Oh well. Nothing I can do about it now. We will have to th build a solar plant and then that will need more mines because mines are good. Okay. And this time we are actually going to go through Oh wow, we have a lot of rail guns. Okay, we're actually going to go through with our firing cycle this time because that was just pitiful last time around. All right, we're trailing, but we're trailing in such a way that I think I can go with near 100% accuracy on all of these guns. Basically, oh man, not enough power. You're lame. All right, twin shot and connected. We're causing some serious damage here. Hopefully it will be enough to end this once and for all. Okay. Building, building, building. Keep them guns a building. Um, let's not build a missile. Seems kind of pointless. Although, that does make for precision strikes, and I do have a telescope now. Let's use the intel key. Which I did not push. Okay, two turns left. Um, intel. I think that's F3. There it is. Okay, we have no intel, basically. Oh, well. Such is life. Let's build things. We have a lot of power. Let's go ahead and make more power. Because we need more power. And more rail guns, because we always need more rail guns. Okay. I see now how this power works. And all of my railguns are facing the wrong freaking way. Alright, that's not gonna work. That one will, though. Okay, let's see what kind of damage we can do. And no, another intervening planet that I did not see coming because I was not paying attention. Shame on me. This is a strategy game and I'm completely lacking in strategy. But we are coming around towards the same side of the sun again. So I'm going to have some point, point blank firing cycles. Hopefully that will coincide with a broadside from all of my cannons on one side of the planet. Little does he know that I am actually planning to use all of these rail guns as an inertial shift device. So that I can move my planet closer to his and reverse the orbit so I'm tailing him. I think that would provide the ultimate firing solution for all of my various and sundry guns. Let's build a solar plant, because we always need solar plants. Let's build a missile, just for the heck of it and to say that I did. And more rail guns, because we always need more rail guns. Alright, targeting sequence engaged. We're going to fire right dead across the face of this planet right there I'm gonna vary these just a little bit so that I have several possible intersect points 
and that will allow me to have a higher probability of hitting with at least one. So there's my shots, arcing wide and two out of four. We got half connected and we did have a damaged building. So I think we can call that a net win. Hopefully all of my guns aren't pointing in the wrong direction after this though, because that would suck incredibly hard. Okay, we're gonna fire all of our guns this time. We have a disconnected power grid, why? Oh, that rail gun, because apparently... Okay, there we go. I can connect. How nice. All right, solar plant. And we're going to do one more railgun, because there's always room for one more railgun. And then I am going to broadside with every single gun that I have that can fire in that general direction. We're just going to like launch that somewhere. No, they're all facing the wrong direction. What 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 is this madness? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Okay. There we go. Now we're on target. I'm fired directly across at this. Mm. So tasty. See these? Let's take those out. There we go. And use these that can actually get a firing solution. That is what the smart person would do. And we all know that I'm a strategic genius, so we're definitely going to need to do this. Okay. And finally. Kaboom! 100% connect rate for seven damage buildings and two cities. It's such a beautiful sight. Oh, and he got me too. One of our cities has been destroyed. No, now it's a useless wasteland. Okay, so we need to build, let's do one more solar plant and another railgun. And that'll leave us enough to do a large firing cycle while we're still at this perfect range. Okay, so that's all facing away. There we go. We're right here by him, so we're just going to broadside this son of a gun. Ah, uh, not quite. There we go. Okay, we're done. Two turns left on gamma ray lasers. Oh, that means we're gonna be able to use the lasers before this is up. And then we need, I think that's it. Our buildings are done. Okay, so play kaboom. <laughs> 14 buildings damaged and three cities damaged. Oh my word. No. One of our cities has been damaged. Oh well, we'll just have to get over it. Okay, another rail gun. And a mine. And a solar plant. We're gonna go build heavy this time. Okay, and then our firing solution. We're getting quite the extensive list of cannons now. Um, all right, we're gonna loop right around you here, bud. These are all gonna miss, I think. They're firing out too far, too much of an arc. This is gonna be really depressing if all these miss. 
Kaboom! Oh, 100% hit rate again. How am I not killing him? Like, why has he destroyed a city and I'm just like doing random damage to all these things? That doesn't seem right at all. I did destroy some buildings. That is, that is a plus. That is a plus. Okay, this time we're going to target every single available gun and then worry about our buildings. So we got that and pretty much the same all the way around we go. It's interesting how the projectiles come out from the world in different ways. And so the curve behaves differently depending on that little little bit there. But pretty much we have indestructible um, resource generation at this point. Oh, that's facing the wrong way. That one's not. Okay, we have expended our entire energy supply on many, 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 many bullets. So let's see what happens if our gamble pays off. Impact, impact, 100%. We have four buildings destroyed and one enemy city destroyed. We are making our mark, finally. Okay. So we have a laser available to build now. We're going to build one of these because lasers, why not? All right, we're going to come on, let's go here. Let's throw down a solar plant. We're going to connect this to the solar plant. And then we are going to build another solar plant. And then we are going to build another solar plant. And a mine for good measure. Okay, no guns this time, but we're laying down the groundwork for big things next turn. That's for sure. He's on the far side of the sun, so we can just kind of do our own little thing at this moment and uh, not have to worry about any form of retribution. So let's go ahead and do another build cycle. Let's do a uh, laser again. Where do we have some good power? There we go. Let's do laser. Let's do another rail gun. And let's spread out our lasers here. And solar plant here. This needs to connect to there. Weird. Okay. Oh, we'll leave it. All right, this one. So I can repair. Where was my damaged city? Don't think that's important. All right. So we need more buildings. Let's do a mine off of the solar plant and another solar plant and that is it for this turn so we'll go next player we will let the world's turn and then we're gonna get ready for the mother of all passes on this side this is going to be a horrendous broadside um where is our disconnect But it says it doesn't have any free. Okay, disconnect. And connect to solar plant. There we go. Finally. Finally. Okay, we're going to need another solar plant because we always need more solar plants because rail guns and everything else use so much power. We're going to go one more time on this. And then we're going to start our firing cycle next turn. All right, that's everything we can do. Next player.
And this begins the end right here. Because that come, there comes our head-on collision course. We're going to go directly to our firing mechanisms. And we now have a scrolling bar. <laughs> nice. Okay, so our laser is on the wrong side. Bang. Let's go there. And... There. Alright. We're looking good. That one's not going to work. Alright, that one will though. Only that planet is going to move into my trajectory at this point. So we need to actually go a little outside that. Alright, that works. Hopefully that planet won't close too much with us. We'll actually be able to do something. Okay. Wow, that's a crazy loop on that one. I'm gonna have to see if that actually connects. We may actually get some misses this time. Strictly because the arch, the arc is so vicious. An arch is a building or a structure, not a trajectory. So much power. So much power. Okay, we're going to loop this on a very vicious curve. Okay. Laser shot successful. Here comes our barrage and connecting with, oh, I was going to say 100% accuracy, but that one had to miss. No. So we got two enemy cities destroyed. I think we can safely say that this is going to be a win. Let's wind up our beautiful shiny lasers with some spots on the surface. And we are actually doing brilliantly well at this point. Hopefully these lasers don't impact that planet. That's going to be close. Oh my word. We're just going to try it anyway. Because lasers. I'm going to go over on that side. Okay. And now we bring out the guns. What on earth? Why are you behaving this way? That does not make any sense. Okay. So we're not using that gun. Oh, that controls the strength of the shot when you move your mouse away. Why did I not figure this out before? Like, why is this such a... Wow. I feel like a complete and total dumbass at the moment. Um, let's go this way. That would explain why some things curved more than others. Alright, so this guy can fire... All I got to do is wipe all these things. Ah, yes, the laser's connected. Beautiful. Beautiful. 15 buildings destroyed. We're going to get exposed to the other side of the planet, and I think we just might be able to wrap this game up right here. This is going to be a full-on unrepentant demolition of this planet. Let's see. Oh no, my lasers are facing away. That's so sad. And so are apparently half of my regular guns. How did this happen? 
Okay, so we'll be able to do this. We do still have some rail guns on the exposed side. So we will be able to make this happen. I feel like. Not as many as I would like, but once we rotate again, we'll be okay. All right, since we didn't expend everything on that, let's build, let's build some lasers on this side because there's a severe dearth of firepower on this side. A solar laser? Dude, it's fired from the sun. That's awesome. The guns in this are amazing. Like this is this is incredible. This is like what you would sit around with when you were a little kid and you'd be like, "Oh yeah, well, you might have infinite armor, but I have a laser on the sun's surface and it has infinite power and your armor can't regenerate fast enough to actually actually deny this laser." So I win because because yeah, so, eat it. All right, let's uh, let's see what this does. There goes all of my shots connected. We have one damage city. Enemy has many, many, many damaged things. At this point, I think they can be qualified as damaged goods. Let's. Is that the damage city? Why can't why why can't why can't I repair? I want to repair, but it won't let me. Oh well, if you want to die, you can die. Let's do, um, are we still, oh, we still have some left. Okay, let's do some damage. Lasers. We are going to brought, oh, is that a destroyed city? I think that's intel, actually. Never mind. Okay, so let's go back to lasering the surface. Because we do apparently have a couple of lasers that will impact the target, or impact this. Let's hit that just out of curiosity to see what it is. And we will hit... I think those may be destroyed cities, but I'm going to peg them just to be sure. Yes. All the guns. All the guns. It's sad when some of them point away. It's just, it's so terrible. It's all that unused potential. It's like you can feel what your parents were all thinking of you. It's like you have all of these guns and all of these brains and you're just facing the wrong way. What is your problem? Okay, that one can also intersect. I can't believe that. Like, there's so many that uh, don't exactly hit. Okay. Boom! Ha! <laughs> there's... Oh, one of our cities was destroyed. Whoops! All right. I think if this next turn does not end this, I am going to call the game there. Because apparently... We can just keep hurling insults at each other until time stops, and this won't actually uh, do anything. Okay, we need to not target anything that's already been hit severely, so let's do that. I think that would be smart. Let's do... Let's do that 
And maybe one of these. And perhaps even one of these. And then basically all of the other ordnance that I can throw at you. Such militaristic music. You'd think we were killing things while we were playing. Oh, wait! We're causing extinction level events! Okay. Go! Six enemy buildings destroyed and many enemy buildings damaged. All right, we need to do something about the intel situation because this is just getting ridiculous. I'm not using the sun-based laser, so we might as well drop that. Um, brum, 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 brum. Yeah, I think I'm actually just gonna call it there. I need to look up more efficient ways to kill people faster. And... I need to research the intel options on this. Other than that, I think this has gone fairly well for this only being like my second game. So, yeah. Tell me what you think, guys. This is a cool little game. I think it would be really fun to play with people. If you could get a group of people together and do this, there's not much of an online community for it at the moment. Like, I went to look at public matchmaking because I wanted to jump in with some actual people. And yeah, there were like seven other people using the matchmaking system and all of them were already in games. So not really an option for me, but you know, hopefully I'll be able to do something like that in the future. And again, please message me if you wish to play Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion at some point later in the week, probably on the weekend. And please bear in mind that I am on United States time, so I'm not going to be up at 3 a.m. or whatever when the year or... 2 p.m. when the European players are on. So, other than that, I do hope that you enjoyed this video. It is... Sometimes I'm not sure how people are going to react to videos like this. <laughs> and I really would appreciate you hitting the like button if you did like the video, or at least tolerated it through the whole length. And, you know, I don't mind if you hit the dislike bit the dislike. I do pay attention when you guys dislike a video a ton. Even though I may brush it off or take constructive criticism, I am listening. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and end this video, end this game. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on Thursday for the regular Supreme Commander cast.